This is me, Bryn Coombs, and this is where I live, in the Rhondda Valley, in a beautiful little place called Ferndale. I love it here. Hi, Bryn. I've done the windows, £5, I've done the front and the back. There you are, Archie. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bryn. Archie, do you mind if I ask you something personal? Why do you worry so much? I can't help it, man, Bryn. Can you spare me a bit of your time? Yeah. I'm going to put my shoes on, and me and you are going to go for a little drive. Where are you taking me then, Bryn? A little surprise. Trust me. Archie, ever been here before? No, I haven't, Bryn. It's lovely, don't it? It's a great place to chill. My father should bring me here when I was a kid. I thought this reservoir was an ocean. What are you, Archie? It doesn't get you anywhere. No, I know. Hey, in the words of Bert Lancaster, tell you what, when you go to bed and you only have three hours sleep and you wake up in the morning with just three hours sleep and you've got to go to work all day, and after a hard day's work, you come home, you've got to do the washing and the ironing, the hoovering, the dusting. You've got to mow the lawns. Then you've got to go out and get some food. Then you've got to cook for yourself. And then you go to bed and you're worrying again. Not anymore. Take one of these. Is this safe now? It's purely medicinal. They called. Who gives a fuck? You won't give a fuck for anything after taking that. Give it 10 seconds, Archie. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would! I knew it would! <laughs> we busy doing nothing, working the whole day through, trying to find lots of things not to do. We busy going nowhere, isn't it just a crime? We'd like to be unhappy, but we never do have the time. La la Oh, Jasmine, hiya, love. Coming in. Hiya. Oh. How are you, love? Mwah. 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 Oh. How are you, Brian? Oh, suffering, love. Suffering. Claude. How are you, love? Hiya. Oh. What's the matter, then? Oh, she's back. You won't pay for a physio or a chiropractor. No, keep on now, Claude. I'm not paying for no chiropractor. Hey, Brian. I know someone who'll sort your back out. Oh, I? Yeah. Her name's Roxy. She's a good friend of mine. Her bed baths are going down great. She's training to be a nurse. She reads books and everything. Well, you can't fuck about with a bad back, can you? Look, here's a picture of her. Mind you, I could give her a chance. I'd give her a chance. Great. I'll text her now. <sighs> Fucking hell, that was quick. <laughs> Windows, three pound. What's well, Archie? He's cleaned your windows, he wants three pound. I paid him yesterday, man. And yesterday and the day before, Bryn. But I need the money. Hey, you're not gambling again, are you? You're not still using those sex lines, are you? No, but my mother started driving lessons. How old is she now? 88. Archie, we'll make sure she passes her test. Now, Archie, stop worrying. Hi, Archie, stop fucking worrying. Do you know what? He's always been a worrier. Have you? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh... No, no, he doesn't work here. He's just the management. 
Now, you see, we operate a closed shop. Oh, for fuck's sake. See ya. What? You've got a torch, love. There's one in the drawer by the fireplace. Oh, there. Can you light some candles? Will you burn, please? I can't see a thing to come down. Yeah, OK. Hey, listen. I'm frightened. I, I, I don't like the dark. You'll be all right, Archie. Don't worry. You'll be safe as houses, yeah, boy? Right. I'll go make a cup of tea. Oh, can you? It's just like old times, isn't it? Hmm? Just the radio we had, no TV. That's right. You know, when I was a kid, we only had two channels. Remember Blue Peter? Mm. Yeah. Andy Pandy. Pinky and Perky. Thunderbirds? Hey, Camber with Green. Remember the characters? Pew, pew, Barney <laughs> McGrew, cut for <laughs> Tim and Grub. <laughs> hey, remember Rainbow? Remember the bear Bungle? He used to walk around naked all day and then put pyjamas on to go to bed. That's <laughs> what? Uh, let's send for the boys. Who? Ew, poo, Barney McGrew, Cuthbert, Dibble and Grub. No, the boys. Ooh, great idea, Bryn. <laughs> Fingers. Oh, I agree. Is it true about the closure, boys? Sad, sad, guys. No. Oh, it's the sign of the times, Bryn. I've been asked by the committee to do an audit. What happens after that? Well, they want to go to auction soon as, unless you know someone, Bryn. How much are you hoping to get? But eighty key? Yeah, 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 about eighty. Okay, thereabouts. Although they would be open to offers locally. What about you, Bryn? It would be perfect for you. Perfect. Oh, he's years ago, I. I'm too old now. I don't mind helping out like you. Yeah. <sighs> I'll be there now, boys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a call. I'm gonna... I like that. No, I got it. What's happening with all the booze then, Trev? Well, as far as I know, Bryn, it's going to be sold to all the clubs. That's as much as I know. It's... You haven't told me any different, you know? Oh, right. Uh, oh. There we are. Hi. How are you? Everything sorted? Great. You know, you said you were looking for a, a business. I think I found the perfect one. Yeah. Happy days. Have some friends. Uh, Twenty years I've been treasurer, yeah? I've been drinking here, man and boy. Yeah, I understand. So, why, so what are they going to do? What are they going to do with it? They'll knock it down and they'll build a car park. 
flats or something. Yeah, is that one of these knockoff supermarkets? I think, yeah. Flies? Oh, I bring. Oh, he's dead. What? I got some great news. Someone's going to put an offer in in the next two days. It'll be sold. Someone's going to put an offer in the next two days and it's going to be sold. <laughs> hey, I got an idea, boys. Why don't we keep the booze ourselves and celebrate? Now you're talking, Jeff. Hey, but don't give us the shit stuff. Uh, <laughs> I'll drink with that. Jeff. <laughs> The guest said he was calling in. Oh, that's good. I've got a pigeon for him. Oh, lovely. Bryn, did I tell you that Elwyn Crutch is going to call to see you today? Oh, aye. What for? Windows or something. Oh. Hey, Idris. You like quiz questions on sport, don't you? Who won the Australian Open? Uh, I don't know that. What about the Super Bowl? No, I don't know that either. Right. What about the Ice Hockey Challenge Cup in Cardiff? Uh, no, I don't know. The Masters in Augusta? Ah, now then. No, I don't know that one either. What sort of life do you fucking lead? I'm doing the paper, boy. Competition. You know, it's like the Iron Man competition. Oh, is that where they start by swimming 2.4 miles? Do they cycle 112 miles? Marathon for 26 miles. I walk the whole length of the swimming pool. Then I've got to cycle down to the bottom of the street and back. And then I've got to run as far as the paper shop. I've been training for months. Well, that's great. Yeah. Awesome. Fucking brilliant. Hello! Hey. Hello, Vicar. Oh, morning, all. Hi, Hi. Vicar. How are you, Vicar? Hey, I got a pigeon for you. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Claude. Tea, Vicar? Oh, thanks very much, Celia. I'll get it. Ta. Right, this is uh, Elwyn Crutch. I'm sorry to bother you, Bryn, Mr. Coombs. Um, I think you might be able to help me. You know my father, Colin Crutch? You're Colin's boy? I buried your father. Aye, he was a bit of a shagger. There's a story going round, right, that he had a daughter with Steve Wilson's daughter, but it's all hush-hush like. Judith, and the daughter's name was Claire. That's right. I know, I married Claire. <clears throat> well, you know, it talk, isn't it? I mean, you know what people are like around here. Aye, idle fucking gossip. <laughs> You're going to love this one. My mate died, right? He went to this seance in the church hall once, and this, uh, this medium was there, right? And he says to the people there, he says, hands up anybody here who's ever seen a ghost. And 20 people put their hands up. And then he says, right, hands up anybody here who's ever made love to a ghost. And die at the back, put his hand up. So the fellow says, Let's come down here, die. Guy goes down in the front, and the fella says, Are you telling me you've made love to a ghost? And Guy says, Oh no, sorry, I thought you said goat. Elwyn, you've come to see me about windows, is that right? Well, that's right, yes, I've started selling them for Pussy Perkins. That robbing bastard. Aye, you got me on a door in the vicarage. <laughs> Never again. So, uh, this is the window then, yeah? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Well, I've got to be honest, I, uh, I have seen worse. Where? In a pigeon cot. This is the way to dam a window, right? Imagine how I turn up the house. What's her name? Uh, Mrs Jenkins. Mrs Jenkins. Mrs Jenkins, I'm Bryn from... Starstruck Windows. Starstruck Windows. Mrs Jenkins, I said, have you ever seen a window as white as this, Mrs Jenkins? And I won't ask you to lift it, Mrs Jenkins, because it's steel right throughout this solid. Now then, Mr. Jenkins, toughen glass. Wouldn't get a sledgehammer through there, Mr. Jenkins. What about ventilation, you ask yourself? You can open it like that in the day or any time you like when you're in the property. So you leave out for an hour, you can lock in a second position there, Mr. Jenkins. Then when you go away, you lock it completely. Now then, sound. 
Watch this, Mr. Jenkins. Now then. Mr. Jenkins, you can give me all right for that, can't you? Yes, I will listen to this, said Mr. Jenkins. I can't hear it. There we are. That's all I got to say about that, Mrs. Jenkins. Now then, let's look at the window itself. I'm not going to ask you £200 for this, Mr. Jenkins. I'm not going to ask you for £100. £400, Mrs. Jenkins. £400. This retail's for £800. £500, Mr. Jenkins, and it's yours. I'm not going to be cheeky and ask you for £120 deposit. £140 deposit, Mrs. Jenkins, and it's yours. Ten-year guarantee. And let me tell you something now. When you go in that old people's home in 25 years' time, this will still be as white as it is now. Deal, Mr. Jenkins? It's a deal. And that's how it's done, Elwin. Jenkins. Hey, come on, I'm not going to ask you 200 pounds, I'm going to ask you 400 pounds. Yes, can I help you? Uh, Elwyn Crutch, Starstruck Windows. I'm sorry, but my husband died this morning. Oh, okay. Bryn! What do I do now? Just ask her, can you use the toilet? It works every time. Oh, sorry to bother you again, Mr Jenkins. Uh, I was wondering um, if I could use your toilet. Uh, only is 50 miles from my next appointment, see? Of course. It's down the back. <clears throat> Sudden, was it? Yes. One minute he was doing his painting by numbers and he just collapsed. I used to love my painting by numbers. What was he painting at the time? A tank engine. What was his name? Thomas. Thomas the tank engine. No, your husband. Carl. Burial or cremation? Cremation. I mean, what if after you got buried, you woke up a day or two later? Never thought of that before. At least with cremation. If that happened, it'd be over pretty quick. Yes, much better. Uh, is he coming home? Oh, yes, definitely. Not much room in the passageway to get him in and out. Oh, that's true. But I want him in here. Oh, tight. Very tight. Um, do you mind if I have a look? Yes, by all means. Uh, can I make a suggestion, Mrs Jenkins? Uh, of course. Tilt and turn. Pardon? Tilt and turn window, but yeah. He comes in through that window and he goes out the same way. Good idea. How much? You leave that to me. <clears throat> Hello, Mr Perkins. I've got a very special lady by you. She wants a tilt and turn window. We'll purchase today. Needs it fitted in... Uh, seven days? In seven days, yeah. Um, you can use my uh, family and friend discount if you like. I'll go on left. Mrs Jenkins can have it. How much? Oh, that's a steal, Mr. Perkins. Yeah, I'll tell her now, thanks. Two thousand pounds. And he'll throw in some gold handles as well. Gold handles? Just like his coffin. His life insurance will pay for that. Can I uh, ask you a favour, Elwyn? Well, yes, of course. Are you married? Why are you asking that? Well, you're quite a handsome man and. Oh, is that a Glamorgan cricket tie? Steve Watkin, testimonial. I do love a testimonial. Well, did you get it? Too bloody right. Hands everywhere. No, the contract for the windows, yeah. man. Too grand, man, eh? Where are you going? 
I want to poo. I don't Are you okay, Joy? Hiya, Bryn. How are you? I'm really good, thanks. Hey, Diet Coke, please. Rage and a piece of toast. Coming right up. Daily, how are you, love? I'm all right, Bryn. How are you? Hey, sorry to you with your nan. How did she die, love? Oh, she just stopped breathing. Yeah, that fucking do it, I suppose. Um, can I have a word? Of course you can. Sit down, love. I'd like some advice. You want advice? All right. Today, two people came into the cafe. A man and a woman. Well, that's usual for the cafe, love, isn't it? I know. But this bloke says that his friend is sleeping with this married woman on a Tuesday and a Thursday, and another guy is sleeping with the same woman on a Wednesday and a Friday, and then it's a toss-up who sleeps with her on the Saturday, depending if she's doing her hair. Yeah. And then this certain woman comes in and says the same thing, that her friend is sleeping with two guys. Do they, do they give any names? No. I'm fucked for that, then. What was that? Nothing. What advice did you give? Well, I told him to see a sex therapist. I even gave him a card. I mean, Bryn, they didn't spank her. They didn't talk dirty to her. They didn't tie her up. For God's sake, Bryn, all us women, we need that. Did she say what well, days were best? Yeah. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays? That's a fucking lot. OK, now. Toast for my favourite man. You are looking sexy as hell. Am I? I've always thought it. Where's your wife? Gone. What are we waiting for? What day is it? Tuesday. Do you like being spanked? I love it. Do you like being tied up? I love it. Do you like being spoken dirty to? Oh, please, no more. I have to hurry up, though. Why? I'm suffering from prep. Oh, touch and go, is yes. it? Well, I got five minutes to spare, but Bryn, you will have to get rid of that plan. What about the glasses? I'm going to go. Well, let's fuck off then. <laughs> Let him bastard.